an early morning house fire takes the life of a local teenager. Her family tells us the young girl died all while trying to save her puppies. In a story you'll see on just one station, Kelly Kennedy talked to the family, still trying to make sense of their heartbreaking loss. This is what's left of the Berlin Heights home. The family tells me they lost pretty much everything, including their beloved 15 year old sister, Rianne King. They say she loved her dogs more than anything, which is why instead of saving herself, she ran towards the flames to try and save them. She was trying to get the dog and the smoke got to her because by the time my sister left her room, the smoke had already engulfed the entire living room. It just shows that she was selfless and would rather risk her life to save those puppies than try to save herself. 20 year old Keelan Wells tells me the fire started around seven in the morning Sunday at the home where her mother, younger sister and brother lived on State Road 113. My mother tried to go back in and save my sister, but uh, she got hurt in the process and had to leave. 17 year old James King says it was a terrifying morning. I turned around to see if I could escape through my door. I opened it too much smoke and immediately closed it. Then I heard my mom tell me to push out my AC to get out through my window. Although Rianne didn't make it, she did manage to save this little puppy. Two other puppies, a bearded dragon and a ferret also died. She has some burns on her paws um, and her face. We had to shave her because she was covered in plastic and so the family believes the fire was electrical. It started behind their fish tank near some space heaters. My family's been in shambles since my mom's the most worrisome right now. She's barely keeping it together. So I've just been trying to help everyone calm down. Wells says Rianne loved photography. She had previously attended Firelands High School, but was currently enrolled in online schooling and was in the 10th grade. My little sister was my angel. She was my best friend, and I don't know what I'm going to do without her. She was everything I wish I could have been and more. Seeing her on that table was the worst thing I could have ever seen. The family is now trying to find a new home while making arrangements to bury their little sister. They tell me the community support and prayers have meant everything. Reporting in Berlin Heights, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.